Well, we've made 4.4 kilowatts here, and we've made 5.7 kilowatts there. And I did a little bit of work, not much, but I hooked up one of these uh, Chrysler Pacifica batteries, battery modules. I got six of them, uh, all six together, 16 kilowatts. So, what is it? Uh, they're like 2.7 kilowatts each, so I added another 2.7 kilowatts. Got the same old BMS. I like these, they've been really reliable. I check them ever so often, and they all seem to be working. Also, on top of that, none of my balance. Uh, batteries have ever gone out of balance except for the first time I hook them up when it gets fully charged You can see sometimes they balance and once balanced they never balance again at least not not so far uh, I found it with these it's easiest not to use the BMS wires. I just pop these caps off and solder right directly to all the uh, The battery posts or individual battery posts. They have some on each side it was much, much quicker, much, much easier, and way less figuring out what wire does what, because that stuff takes time. So I'll be doing that with all of these. Uh, I've got some rearranging to do. These I'm going to get uh, put somewhere else, use that for a different project, or I might just sell them all, because um, i got the bigger batteries now. Uh, and these here is more power than all those put together, so I'd way rather put my time into putting these up. Uh, what else? I got some more of those Ford Focus batteries there to put up. But I got to get rid of all this. I got two 3000 watt inverters there. Uh, one's gonna, going into my work trailer. I think this is my upgraded one. This is just a standard one. Um, this one is probably going to go in my Jeep or it's going to go in the house trailer as a backup. And then I got a 60 volt 3000 watt over there. I got a 60 volt 8000 watt here. This one uh, that is a slightly modified from their other one. It's not too much different. It's been working great. I'm not using it right now just because this has automatic transfer switch. So when my batteries get too dead, it just switches over to grid. Or this does not. So I'm not using this right now. This I'll be using in the summer. Um, but one awesome thing is reliable. Has They said they've, they've kind of reworked it. They have a... a Heavier duty model of the 8,000 watt now coming out. They are sending me one. It wasn't for free. I had to pay partially for it, which is it's totally a fine because they said that the new one is about a thousand dollars American. So it's quite a bit more. Well, not quite a bit more. It's like what 150 dollars more or 200 dollars more, something like that. So yeah, quite a bit more. Um, but I cannot wait to test it. They said it can it can easily put, output the 8,000 watts. So I'm very excited to test that. And yeah, other than some cable management, I got to get new bus bars. I have no more room for anything on these bus bars. I've already overtasked them. Not amps wise, but just wires wise. I'm going to either, I might just end up making some. Um, but I got to get some, some more bus bars going. I got to get rid of this. I might change the shelf so I can mount these on the wall. I'm not sure if I'm going to mount them on the wall or not. I might stay with the shelf because I can put more on it. I'm going to relocate this sucker to the floor because this does not have to be on the shelf you don't have to be able to see it it can be hidden so i got to get rid of that the leaf battery has been working amazing still have these to hook up but I, I lost the bms wires for these so i'm gonna have to work around that i think i can, I can just get all at everything from here so that's no big deal same thing this is uh ooh, how many kilowatts is this this is more than 2.7 those together so i gotta hook those up Gotta hook all those up. After I hook all that up, I'll have well over 50 kilowatts. I'm gonna have 50, about 55 kilowatts plus all this. These are extra. This is a 4S, this is a 2S. I got two leaf batteries here. So anybody interested that live close to where I live, I live between, uh, uh, I live near Toronto, but between Toronto and Barrie. Um, if you want two leaf batteries, I paid 100 bucks each. I will sell them for, I don't know, 80 bucks each if you want them. So that's 20 bucks off each from what I paid. Uh, this, one of these, I can't remember how much I paid. I got it'll be it'll be fairly cheap. Per kilowatt, it's gonna be a good deal. I can't remember how much I paid for that, so I gotta go through. This is a 2S, so between the two, you could have a 6S. 
if you're interested. And all of these are for sale now. I've decided that if someone will buy them, I will sell them. It comes with all the BMS wires, and I'll even provide uh, 16S BMS if you want it. Um, because you can either run these in 8S or 16S, or you can go 24S or whatever the heck you want to go, really. Um, if you, you can even go, uh, 32S, like, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Frank Z. Frank Z has these, he's going 32S, so he's going, like, 120 volts. So that's pretty crazy. Anyways, let me know if anybody's interested. But, uh, yeah, we're sitting at about, I don't know, 70%, 65, 70%. We're doing all right. We're not pulling too much power because, well, I don't have much power coming in. I can't pull too much power. This is my room that I added. This used to be part of the garage. Sorry. It's a little messy, I know. We got a new bed in here. We got a backboard. I had to really squish that over because the fridge just barely fits beside the door. I have these doors coming. Yeah, it's really coming along. I really like this heater. This heater is great. I do recommend it. It's pretty expensive. Oh, look at that. Somebody hit it. Um, pretty expensive. It's like 150 bucks on sale. But it's a great heater. Oh, yeah. One more thing. I got all these power it batteries. These are 70 amp hour lithium batteries. And I got uh, one, two, three, four, five. I got five of them. I don't know if I'll sell them all. But if someone's interested, they come with their own BMS already. They got their charge in. They got their pull out. Uh, I believe that they are uh, BMS for 60 amps, so that's 12.6 volts at 60 amps. They're used, made to be paired with about a 500 watt inverter. They're the batteries from these suckers. Uh, I'm, I am going to be using them, unless someone's interested in them. Those will have to be a decent price, at least. See, I paid uh, about 140 bucks for those, so if you want... One of those, they are 140 bucks. So, anyways, just letting you guys know if you guys are interested. If not, no worries. I'm going to do something with them eventually. I might pair them with one of those inverters in the back of my Jeep, and then I might use a boost con converter from my alternator to that to charge it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hey guys, showing you my win production through this uh, Antrax controller, which is a PWM. So that's about 100 watts, 120 before, now that's about 60, it's almost nothing. About getting well over, if I'm shaking, I'm sorry, I'm rocking my little guy here. Maybe I should get a little, a little camera action. Hi. Yeah, that's the new guy. Anyways, we got some good power coming in. We're up quite a bit past 5 amps there for a second. And uh, this is what we made today. We made about 1.1 kilowatts each. And I gotta go. Hey guys, how's it going? Just doing a video for uh, a subscriber. He uh, asked the question. He, he bought uh, some Hyundai Sonata batteries like I have. Same as these. These are 8S. So, for every one of these you need one BMS wire like this so for an 8S you get nine wires and then he's putting these in series with another pack so he's gonna have a 16S so he had a question uh, hooking this up to here to this exact same BMS I have so this is gonna be your starting BMS plug here the way I have it hooked up so, that black wire with the white stripe right there, this wire, that is your first negative. That's what you're starting off with. So you take the, your first negative and you add it, you're going you're gonna to solder it or strip and uh, wrap it around this black wire right here, the starting one. You always start from this end on this BMS. So that is your first negative, and that's your first positive and second negative. It hooks up like this. You'll see here. 
So that black wire is coming off of your first battery, number one, negative. That's where that black wire is coming off of. Okay. Now, so now that these two are bonded together, okay, you're going to go on this plug here. So on the bottom right, you have the black wire here with the white stripe. And then your next wire is going to be the one row on top, the green wire with a black stripe. That is this wire, right? Here, I'll give you a close-up on it in two seconds. But this wire here, that's your second one. So it alternates up and down. So black one's the first one, one. Green with the black stripe is your second one. This gray one with the black stripe, I'm going to single it out here. This one here, that is your third wire. Then this green one with a white stripe is your fourth wire. And then back down again. Move this out of the way. This blue wire with a stripe is your, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That'll be your fifth wire right there. The blue wire with a black stripe. And then so on. This blue wire with a white stripe will be six. Pink wire with a black stripe will be seven. White wire with a black stripe will be eight. And your yellow wire with a black stripe will be nine. Your ninth wire goes to the first wire on your next one. You follow the exact same thing. So the first wire here, the black wire, not all these are the same color code. So don't take my color coding. Uh, just, just keep an eye out on the plugs. Sorry here, on these plugs. So the first one on the bottom here. That's your first wire for the next pack, and those that has to be bonded. So what what that means is you're going to have with all. Let's see your focus with all these wires, including this. This becomes these two wires become one wire. So you have eight wires nine wires plus another eight wires it ends up with the exact same amount of wires coming out of here and that's how you hook it up so you're going to go this black wire to the first one that gets connected and then as you go through these wires one two three four five six seven eight you're going to go through here one two three four five six seven eight and then somewhere in the middle here you're going to end up that wire is going to here and then you continue from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with the remaining wires for this BMS. So that's how you hook up the BMS side. I hope that was uh, a good enough expl explanation. And then this, to hook this up to your battery. So let's see here. Let me get two of these here. One there. Let's get another. There. So this is essentially what he's doing. Sorry, they're dirty. So you have positive, let's focus here. Positive, negative, positive, negative. So to make this one battery, you would take these two and bridge them across with a wire or a little bus bar, whatever you want to use. Then you have between these two, you would have a 60 volt battery, or 66 volt battery is what I charge to. So to hook this up, this here, you can spin, see what's what here. So this side has a B negative here. Let's see, focus on the BMSU. Okay, so it's battery negative. So that battery negative, we need a nice heavy duty wire that can hold handle 30 amps to go to negative. So it's the negative of the full pack. So not, not the negative in the middle, this negative here. So you're gonna have a wire going to the negative on your BMS. And then off this BMS for pulling current, you're gonna pull from the P negative, P negative and the positive on your battery. So to go to your inverter, you take the positive from your battery to the positive terminal on your inverter. And from the P negative on your BMS to the negative on your inverter. And then that's how your inverter will run. 
And to charge this thing, it's very similar. To charge control, you take the positive on this Hyundai Sonata battery to the positive of your inverter battery side. And then the negative, this is this is charge negative. So this is the negative side. You take this and run this to the negative side of your charge controller. They are separate from the pull and charge. So if you have a Victron system, it doesn't work with these BMS. Just so you know, if you have a, a Victron and you want to use it, you got to get a BMS that charges, pulls and charges from the same source. So you can't have a charge negative and a pull negative. It's got to have just a pull negative and then you can also charge through the same port. There is BMSs like that. I don't have one like that. So my Victron, I'm not able to use the percentage on it, but I just use it for other functions. Anyways, I hope that explained a little bit to you. Um, if you have any questions, uh, post it down below. I'll do my best to answer them.